face each other and pay attention to questions I ask. I have a book at home, it's called The Wedding Book. It's 86 years old, and it's, uh, it belonged to my pastor before me. I don't carry it with me anymore, instead I type words out of that because of the, the, uh, the, the realness of that book. But it has, between my pastor and me, it's probably been to five or six hundred weddings. And out of those five or six hundred couples who's been married from that book, uh, every one of them that took the vows and kept the vows are still married. Till death do them part. <coughs> so, First of all, God, I want you to look into the, the eyes of this young woman that you're taking in your wife and say, I defeat your name. I trust with this. Take you, any, Take you any, to be my wedding wife. Be my wedding wife. I promise and agree before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband, to be loving and faithful husband. in plenty and in want, in, in joy and in sorrow, joy and in sickness and in health, in and in health, as long as we both shall live. And any, I want you, as you look into the man, I that you're marrying, repeat after me, say I and repeat your name. Take you, Joshua Gideon, to be my wedding husband. I promise and agree before God and these witnesses to be your faithful and loving wife in times of plenty and in times of war. In joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, so long as we both shall live. You too remember that long after the beauty and the joy of the wedding day passes, you'll remember the vows you take and you'll be required to obey those vows, to always keep them. God, when you have this ring that you chose for Annie, it's really nice and beautiful. One thing about it, it's a continuous circle. It has no beginning and no end. Now, I don't suppose either of you you know the exact moment that you fell in love. It just happened. It grew. And, and it is, it continues to grow. And, and God forbid that your marriage should ever break. This man may grow weak and it may have a, get a break in it. And if it gets that way, you take it to a jeweler and get it fixed. You may get her a new one, but you'll get it fixed for keep's sake. So should it be with your marriage. If it breaks, fix it. Get some help and fix it. That ring is a symbol of your love for her. If you'll place it on her ring finger. <coughs> And repeat after me <clears throat> with this ring. This ring. I be wed with all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. I be endowed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And any likewise the man that you're going to place on his finger has the same meaning. It's a symbol of your love for him. It has no beginning. It's a continuous circle. And your love should never fail. If it starts breaking up or cracking or get, getting out of whack, get it fixed. Repeat after me with this wing. With this wing. Not wing. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do With all my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. I be and out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
devout means simply that everything you have, God belongs to her. Everything you have, Annie belongs to Joshua. And, and it should be that way throughout your marriage. There shouldn't be yours and his or his and hers. Uh, that goes for every worldly possession you have. It goes for the girls. Make a home. Make a home full of joy and love. Make time for God in your lives. Time to worship. And you'll find a, a, the best life you could ever hope to have. And now, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the authority of the state of Texas, I declare that you, God forbid, you, Brenda, and Turner, are for now husband <coughs> and wife. You may kiss your wife. Let's have a prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for these two and the love that you placed in their hearts. We thank you that they have the two little precious little girls. Let them realize that not only the great obligation, but the great, great privilege of having the two little ones to raise and to love and to teach the meaning of love. And we pray that, that Father, you will make their way where they can have all their needs met and most